Hey, what's up, everyone? You are back with Wonderful Radio. We are on episode five with Sarah Sims and back with another Q&A. How are you, Sarah? Good, I'm great. How are you doing? Very good. Before we get into this, can you tell us where you are right now? Absolutely. I'm in Toronto, Ontario. Nice. And it is super hot today. Oh, yeah. And I'm in Detroit, Michigan, so we're probably sharing the same heat. That's awesome. (laughs) Um, so real quick, going into your question number one, um, I know you've played Charvar Detroit in the past. How was that experience? And then what did you think of Charvari introducing that wonderful stage originally last year at Charvari? So I've played Charvari for the past two years. I've been very honored to be a part of the festival. And I think it's a great event. It's a wonderful event that really promotes Detroit's community and is very focused on house and techno. And I think a lot of people really appreciate the fact that it's artists first, you know, that it's a festival that really promotes the Detroit artistry, right? And electronic music. And I think a lot of people appreciate that the festival is free and that they're able to come and attend. And I like the fact that it's in an outdoor location. Yeah. So it's really cool to party and, and also to play, you know, during the day and in the evening as well as a very different ambiance, mm-hmm. being an open air festival. And I think the wonderful stage was a really, uh, a really good addition to the festival. It gives a lot of new and developing female artists a platform to perform on. And I think in the future, a lot of people can be drawn to the wonderful stage because they want to check out like new female talents. That's amazing. Okay, so for your second question, how would you compare the Toronto electronic music scene to Detroit's electronic music scene? So the electronic music scene specifically? Yeah. Okay. Well, I would say like Detroit is very heavy uh, focused on house and techno, the, the electronic music scene that I've experienced. And I would say all of the, the artists that I've heard and the DJs and producers are really writing with a lot of soul. Yes. You know, they're, they're really, I know that's kind of like a really broad term, but they're really putting a lot of, of passion and feeling and emotion into the records. I think the Toronto sound, and I'm generalizing, but since we live in a different city, you know, a different place. We have different energy here, different influences. So I think maybe the the type of house and techno is perhaps a little bit different, Mm -hmm. right? And I think in Detroit too, you guys are lucky because you still have an abundance of venues that are open to playing like house and techno. And unfortunately in recent years, you know, Toronto does have a great scene, but our club scene has gotten a lot smaller here. So the community that that is existing is is small and tight knit, uh, just because we only have so many venues that we can perform at, right? Right. Well, that's very. I'm. Uh, that's a good perspective to have. And well, yeah, I hope Detroit never loses that energy and that spirit to have those spaces because that's a huge culture thing, and it's so fun for for everyone that gets to like be a part of those type of, um, you know, gigs or experiences, so, or festival culture. So very, very well said. Um, So stepping outside of DJing, what is your connection to the comic world? I was hearing your name in association to like, oh, she has a past with like comics or like an interest in comics. So I'm like, what is that connection? Well, it's very cool that you know about this actually. So I have a comic book series called The Future Prophecy. And it features DJs as superheroes and villains. So we have three different issues out. And the comic book is actually set in Toronto. And the premise of it is that the villains of Bogtown Records have taken over the city of Toronto. Mm-hmm. And all of, uh, all of, I guess, the good people who are left, you know, making good music here have to work together to fight against Bogtown Records. Wow. So it's a cool project. We have uh, three issues in English and Japanese. Awesome. And the first issue has an accompanying single that goes with it as well. 
So the soundtrack to the comic. And you can check out the project at thefutureprophecy.com. Awesome. Yeah. So this is just like this just came from your uh, a passion and an idea you had. And you just pushed it through to a, a comic book series. Yeah, I got home from a tour in Berlin once. And I was living with my sister at the time, and we were really inspired to do a project together that combined together her love of graphic novels and my passion about music and technology. So we decided to start working on this comic book. That's awesome. I love that. Very unique, and I'm going to check it out. Everyone should check that out. It's really cool. Oh, um, thank you. So your last question before we jump off of here, what is something that your fans and listeners can look forward to in regards to your production work? Because I know you have been releasing singles and have a history with all this. What are, what are we waiting for and looking forward to with Sarah? So I have some new singles that I'm going to be finishing off this summer. And I'm basically spending the rest of the summer and early fall in the studio just working on music and new projects. And I don't want to say too much about it, but there's definitely going to be some exciting things, you know, coming later on this fall, this winter. Great. But right now, a good time to, uh, you know, to keep the head down and keep working. And I also have some new video projects that I'm going to be releasing on my YouTube as well in the next couple months to come. Nice. Yeah, I definitely, ever since I met you at Charavari a couple years ago and then getting, getting to observe your work ethic online, like you stay on it in a project and working hard, which is so admirable and exciting. So, um, yeah, we really appreciate you coming on here and um, going over um, some questions and being a part of Wonderful Radio. I hope everyone enjoys your episode and we'll definitely collaborate again on some more wonderful radio content too that sounds great well i wish you you know all the best with the series and thank you so much for you know for being a part of it and to all the listeners out there you know thanks for, uh, so much for tuning into wonderful radio and and listening to my release on the on the station